as important as preparing for marriage is, do you know that it is equally important to prepare for divorce? What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. The name is Kwame Pa. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you are old and you be with me, thank you so much for always staying with me. It's exciting to have you back here with me. And today, let's do something exciting. Now, what I want to share with you today is very, very, very sensitive. And as young people as we are, if we would really pay attention to this, I believe it will save us a lot, you know, when it comes to marriage and all that. Because often we are so much, you know, excited and enthused about the idea of getting married. Sometimes some of the little things that we should probably have, you know, paid attention to before even the marriage whole thing happened, we sort of go over it and then we let it slide. And then when reality hits in, everything just comes rolling, everything comes rolling on the table, sorry. And then that is when we realize that we should have made some preparations even before the whole marriage thing happened. So yeah, let's get into what we are discussing today. Now, what we are, you know, accustomed to and what we are taught, what we see growing up and what, you know, we are used to as preparing for marriage. But then, as important as preparing for marriage is, do you know that it is equally important to prepare for divorce? Yes, you heard me. Whilst preparing for marriage, it is very important to also prepare for divorce. Now, don't get me wrong here. Yeah? I'm not saying you start thinking about the exit before you even enter. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you should be able to sit with your to-be partner and really look at things beyond the marriage. Because now there are so many uncertainties when it comes to marriage. And no matter how deep in love you are with someone, you should never brush the possibility of a split. Never brush it off. Because it can happen at any point, any day, and any moment at all. And when that particular moment happened, are you ready for it? Now, why is it important to prepare for divorce? Yeah. Now, listen to this. People are using marriage as a gateway to get away from a lot of stuff. Let me give you a scenario. Now, there is this lady that was in so much debt and thought it wise that, okay, once I get married, this, this whole thing is sorted because then I would have a man who would help me pay whatever debt that I am in. So then she got married to a supposedly rich gentleman who has hustled his way through life, made some properties for himself and all. Now, this lady never mentioned to this gentleman that, baby, I am owing a lot of people or I am in debt at the banks and all that. Never. And then they, you know, stayed together for some time. And when it was time for the payments and everything to be made, she had nothing to give them because, you know, the whole idea of going into what she, what, what she went into is a bailout. So everything comes to the husband. Now the husband begins to, you know, everything opens up to him and then he sees what the whole, you know, uh, 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 deal is about, what the lady uh, did and all that. And he said, no, I'm not paying for this. And because he said he's not paying for this, the lady opted for a divorce. Now this is a marriage that, you know, they signed a court, a legal marriage. And you know what that means, right? going through divorce, the court splitting, whatever that is there, they meet in the marriage into two and all that. And then you look at a man that has worked so hard because the lady had good lawyers, they were able to take away some of this man's properties for the lady just because, you know, you've been married for some years. But then ideally, this property, the lady had no hand at all in putting them together. So, you get my point and you get where we are driving at. Now, also... It is important to prepare for divorce because if this marriage thing does not work between you two, is this somebody that you can co-parent with? Is this somebody that even though you people are no more together, you can raise a child to be of, of, of value and significance to society? Is this somebody that you can do it with though you are not together? 
Is it somebody that once you have an issue with whatever it is about you, no more concerns them for that matter. If you have, you know, if the possibility of children set in, they would be affected because of the split. Now, that is also something that you should consider even before the marriage thing happens. A lot of people are not so much into the idea of prenup, but I am telling you today that it is so important. Having a legal document that states or that, you know, um, 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 puts down a structure of how properties and how things are going to be split when there is a divorce is so, so, so important. Now, this would help you take away some of the, the, the properties or items or whatever that you met in the marriage that you had no hand in, in putting together or building aside to its rightful owner. And then whatever that will be left, a structure to you know determine how split will be done. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that if I, um, think about the exit even before the entry. What I'm saying is that there is so much going on lately. You don't know what you'll be hit on the road. You don't know what will come up on the road. Do not throw away the, the possibility that, that someday, you know, whatever SHIT would come, can just show up and then a need for a split would come. And what happens after the split becomes a subject. Don't throw it away. It is so important that you make these arrangements. You think about this, you discuss with your partner, your to-be partner. Discuss with them. Let them understand that, okay, baby, I'm not saying that this is what's going to happen, but in case this happens, what is the way forward? How is life going to be for us? How is life going to be for the kids? Have a solid laid out plan even before you go into the marriage. There are so many cases of, of, of ladies or women who have built hard for themselves, made enough for themselves. There are so many instances that they, they've had their things taken away from them. Now, the idea of having separate accounts and making separate, you know, properties for yourself, we'll talk about that sometime later. I am no marriage counselor. I am not certified to do any marriage counseling, and I'm not talking about any of that thing now. What I'm just sharing is an unpopular opinion about the need to plan for divorce even before you marry. If you look at the rate young people are getting divorced, if you look at the way marriages are, are being split up lately, it is crazy. And therefore, they need to really, really think about what you will do if that should happen. Get a prenup, make it legally bound. Get, even if you need counselors on it to sort of open up, open you up on it, counsel you on that, you know, make you know that this is the possibilities. And then if this should happen, this, are, this, this is how things are supposed to go. Let there be a clear understanding. And then just, you know, we are hoping and we are hoping that it won't come to that point. Enjoy your marriage, you know, have the best in your marriage. But then if that happens, you would know that you are, you are sorted in that regard and everything is going to be all right. I believe this is very important and it would save you a great deal if you would really pay attention to this and you would really consider this. As I said, once again, I am not saying think about the exit before the entry. I am just saying prepare just in case. Two different things. Thank you so much for joining me on this particular unpopular opinion or unofficial marriage counseling, if I should put it that way. Please do not disregard this. Share with someone. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about prenups. In general, let me know what you think about preparing for divorce even before marriage happens. Let me know if you share into what I'm just telling you now. If you, you know, side with me, let me know if you are against it. Probably you put in your points on why you think it's not a good idea. And let's learn. We, we are here to learn. We are here to have fun. And this should be something that would, you know, wake something in there to help us think ahead of time so that all the uncertainties and then possibilities that await us out, out there would be covered. Thank you so much, guys. Catch you on the next video. The name is Kwame Pa. Please and please subscribe. Share the channel. Help us grow. Leave a comment. I love you so much. See you on the next video.